What we want to look at here is the existence of an inverse function. For a function to have an inverse function, it must be one-to-one. -one. Look at your definition. A function f is one-to-one -one when for a and b in its domain, f of a equals b implies a equals b. So consider here. We have x squared minus 4. f of 1 equals minus 3 f of minus 1 equals minus 3, but f of 1 equals f of minus 1, but 1 doesn't equal minus 1, therefore not 1 to 1. So here's our definition of the existence, if and only if it's 1 to 1. All right, how are we going to deal with that? Well, notice we're going to use something called the horizontal line test. Now, don't confuse this with the vertical line test. It's a totally different thing. So let's draw some pictures here. So we'll wait a few seconds while the command gets typed in and the graph appears. It's taking a little bit here, but remember, we're going to be looking for a horizontal line test, not a vertical line test. That means if I can pass a horizontal line through this graph, in two points, then I do not have a function that has an inverse function. It might have an inverse, but it's not an inverse function. Okay, let's wait a minute here, and we should see that horizontal line appear. Ah, there it is. Notice this fails the horizontal line test. Now, Keep the previous graph in your mind. It, if it was necessary for this function to have an inverse, we'll restrict the domain. So if you'll notice here, when I want to display it this time, I restrict the domain, and there I am going to make it so you can see it all in the picture, to, for x to start at 0. Now notice it does intersect in one and only one point. Now, notice two special types of functions. If it's increasing on its entire domain, it's one-to-one. -one. If it's decreasing, it's one-to-one.